on my desk, I've got two Cobra F9 drivers. What do I? So I've caught your attention, right? Good, because you need to listen to this. On this desk, I've got one of the drivers, which is a Cobra F9 that I received back in 2019 that I reviewed. In fact, I even put it in the bag. And also on this desk is a brand new Cobra F9 S driver, which I have bought brand new recently. Now, let me tell you the story. A couple of weeks ago, it was brought to my attention that there was a new Cobra F9 driver available to buy right now in a wrapper, brand new. It's like, what? This is a driver back in 2019, surely this can't be quite right. Now, Simon Smith, SAS Golf, if you've not checked him out on YouTube, do I'll put a link down below, kind of did a little bit of digging, a bit of investigating, and he found out that yes, there is a brand new F9 S driver available, but it's a bit different to the original F9. I also had a lot of comments through my podcast group of very eagle-eyed fans who had also spotted that there's a new F9 driver out, but again, it's a little bit different to the original one back in 2019. So you know me, I love to buy golf equipment, I love to give it a test to tell you guys the honest truth. So I went down to my local golf shop, which is a Clubhouse Golf, and I went in the store, lo and behold, on the shelf, on the rack, still in a wrapper, was what looked like a Cobra F9. So I was intrigued. I picked it up off the shelf, started looking at the bottom of it, and for me, this looked exactly like a Cobra F9. Until I started to look a little bit closer. Now the big standout feature on this S model is the face isn't what we saw on the original F9. If you remember, there was a big story back in 2019 about this CNC milled face. And to be honest, I remember back then it being a huge story for Cobra. And to be honest with you, it worked. That driver back then was phenomenal. So good, they've continued with that CNC milling, even into the latest model of the Cobra drivers right now that you can buy. So they must think it's a good thing, right? Well, this S model doesn't have CNC mill face. It has what looks like a normal titanium face. So the next thing I noticed was the shaft. It comes in a stock UST helium shaft. And that's the only option you can actually get with this S model. The other thing I noticed, and again, rewind time a little minute to 2019, it's a big story about Arcos. Arcos this, Arcos that in the grip end of the club, the way to be able to track your performance out on the golf course, get really good data to help you improve. Well, the S model doesn't have that. Oh no, it is a standard Lampkin grip. So side by side, these two drivers look identical bar the face, the shaft and the grip. Now, I thought, well, let's go and ask, what does this Model S kind of mean? Because sometimes when we see in other industries, let's say iPhone, when iPhone comes out, next year they might bring out an S version. And often the S version has a few extra features that the original did not have. So it got me thinking, does this S maybe even feature more things that I've not noticed yet? Well, no, it doesn't. The guys told me it's an SMU, which stands for Special Makeup. And often manufacturers work with, let's say a retail shop and they'll create an exclusive driver just for that particular retail store. In other industries, you see it in trainers slash sneaker industries, or even clothing and apparel. And we have seen this in golf before. I remember a few years ago, Callaway bringing out an X-Hot driver, which was much lower price than the original X-Hot, but it was noticeably different. It looked different. The material they were using was different. But on these F9s, that's not what I'm seeing. They look absolutely identical. Bar on the sticker of the S on the shaft, it does actually say Cobra F9S. The F9S also did come with a head cover, but it does look different to the original F9. I think the main reason for that is actually the F9 head cover does feature at the top this kind of CNC milled face almost design. So considering the F9S doesn't have the CNC milled face, they couldn't use the same head cover, obviously. But nowhere on the head is there an S 
Nowhere does it say F9S. It's not as if it's a different colorway. Everything else is the same, bar those things I highlighted earlier. Now the price was interesting as well. If you remember back in 2019, the original F9, I think it did so unbelievably well because of the price. It was being sold for 350 pounds and stacked up against a TaylorMade or a Calor, etc. About 100 or at least 100 pound cheaper. So the F9S, brand new on the shelf, was 249 pounds to buy, but it did sound sticker. That was reduced from 379 pound. To be honest, I don't think even the original was priced at 379 pound. Not sure why that was on there. So 250 pounds for what looks like an original F9 driver. So my big concern is if a customer goes into the shop and sees one of these F9S drivers, fully thinking it is the original F9 with the CNC milled face with a really fancy shaft with Arcos in the grip. Are they gonna be let down on the performance? Well, let's be honest, there's only one way we can find out. So first up is the original F9 with the CNC milled face. With the shaft I used in it, a hazardous smoke shaft with the grip with Arcos, which I'm gonna use this shaft in the F9S head as well and match up the loft exactly. So this is as fair a comparison as we can possibly make. I'm gonna hit Pro V1s on GC Quad. Let's see what the old dog can do. I love this driver, I really did. Now for me, I typically look at average carrying 280 yards, 160 ball speed, and around about 110 miles per hour club head speed. Let's hit this first before we then move into F9S. That was one of my better ones then. That was 283 carry, 111 miles per hour club head speed, 158 ball speed, 1900 spin. Feels good. The old dog feels good. And it is why this driver was so unbelievably popular. Great performance, good looking certainly behind the golf ball. And the price was really good, reasonable, 350 pounds brand new. Yeah, no wonder I said this was the driver to beat in 2019. Okay, up next though, F9S. 10.5 head, one and a half degrees less loft. My math serves me correctly, it's nine degrees. Weights are in the same, 14s at the back, twos up at the front. You know what, before hitting this, I'm intrigued, this could go one or two ways. Number one, if it doesn't perform as good as F9, it's a little bit naughty, because it looks like an F9 to the naked eye, but it's missing technology. That could be one outcome. The other outcome is it could perform just as good as F9. Now, for a lot of people who bought this driver, they'll be relieved, but then that doesn't look great on Cobra in the fact that they invested all this time, energy, effort in the CNC milled face, when really just a regular face might just do the same job. Okay, so with this shaft and grip now, this literally feels the same. It looks exactly the same, bar the little bit of face you can see. That's the only difference. Obviously, this is just a smooth, regular face, let's say. Well, it's a good hit. It doesn't look to the naked eye like it went as far. 109 club head speed, 270 carry. So 10 yards less. It's the first shot, so I'll give it a little bit more leeway. 2,500 spin. It didn't sound the same. It's not as much of a crack off the face. Ugh. Feel is just a little bit different. It's not as nice, it's not. So that was, a that was a really good hit. That felt in comparison, very similar in strikes than it did with the F9. Wow, again, it's lacking. 269 carry, 2,500 spin, and I swung it again 110 miles per hour. It's the spin. It's in the same loft, same shaft, but that spin is definitely a little bit higher. And therefore this is dropping about 10 yards shorter. And ball speed similar. 
155. I was probably getting a tiny bit closer to 160 with the F9. That was a more low spin one. You know, the one thing that I've really interestingly seen though, with the F9, I was consistently getting the ball speeds very close to 160, like anywhere between 157 to 159. With this, 155 has been my absolute best. And that strike, I thought I'd hit that well as only 153 miles per hour ball speed. That's even like three miles per hour less than my bad ones on the F9. And I honestly thought that one was a good strike. Right, watch this one now. Come on. Ah, it was an okay strike, not my best of the day. But come have a look at these numbers. So my clubhead speed was 111. That's about what I've been swinging today, so I'm happy with that. But watch this. 155 ball speed. And it's okay, but 270 yards of distance and 2,500 spin. I mean, I'd go as far as saying, with relation to ball speed and a little bit more spin with this head, I would say I'm losing 10 yards of carry distance. And you know what I'm gonna do? Just to again, confirm what I've been finding, I'm gonna take the F9S out, I'm gonna put the F9 back in, and don't forget this was in 10 and a half degrees of loft, take 1.5, so it's a nine degree head. This one is a nine degree head as standard, and I'm gonna set it up as standard loft. Weights at the back, as you've seen with both models, 14 grams at the back, two grams at the front. So there's not a single drive of the F F9S. I got even really close to 280, never mind over 280. Sounds so much different as well. <laughs> okay, come on, look. Believe it or not, that wasn't my fastest club head speed. That was a little bit lower. Look at this, 281 carry, lower spin, Ball speed was a tiny bit down on that, but kind of correlation with my clubhead speed. I couldn't get even close to that with F9S. I couldn't. Last, 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 last thing. I'm gonna swap it one more time. We go back into F9S. So everything's the same, loft, weights. The only thing that's different is obviously the CNC milled face is missing off this, or is there more missing? Are the things inside, that is not been included with this F9S that we just do not even know about. Makes you think, doesn't it? Just doesn't sound as fast. I mean, look at this. I mean, that, again, wasn't the worst strike in the world. 258 yards of carry, one, not even over 150 ball speed. So I feel like it's my duty to warn you. I, today, in this test, did not see this F9S perform anywhere even close to the original F9. It lacks technology, therefore it lacks performance. If you go into buying this product knowing that, because maybe the price suits your budget at the moment, whatever it may be, that's on you. But I think you need to be aware of it. And I'm gonna be dead honest with you, I think it's naughty from Cobra, and I think it's naughty from the retail world to be selling a product that looks so similar, yet it's not the same. Be wary when you're buying golf clubs, everybody. We'll see you soon.